the black hole reverb, immersive, extraterrestrial, the Hollywood secret, otherworldly. So even Tide unleashed this reverb algorithm way back in 1994 with the release of the DSP-4000. So the fact that a quarter century later, this sound is still highly coveted is a true testament to the taste and skill of the original creators. Now this is not a review of the black hole because there's nothing else new or useful that I can add to that conversation. But this video is more about how to get that expensive sound into your DAW using an inexpensive method. So I've been running black hole using my Eventide Eclipse. So I was thinking I'd like to buy another unit because the Eclipse is capable of doing some other very cool effects as well, but can only run one patch at a time. Now I bought my particular unit about 12 years ago and paid about $1,300. And that was a nice chunk of change back then and it still is. Now I mistakenly thought that since the Eclipse has been out for 17 years, it's got to be really cheap by now. They are not. Now what's really amazing to me is that they are still in production. And if you wanted to buy a brand new unit, it would cost you about $2,000. And the use prices are not that much better. So I guess getting a, another Eclipse is not really a reasonable option at this point in time. So fortunately for us, Eventide has released a lot of their classic algorithms and reverbs in plugin format that we can use in our DAWs. So at 200 bucks, it's probably still a good value, but to be honest, it's a bit more than I want to pay. So there's even a cheaper way to do this, but there's one caveat. You have to own an iPad. And fortunately, a lot of us do. So Eventide has released iOS versions of its plugins that will work on your iPad or iPhone. And at 20 bucks, it's a pill that even my cheap ass can swallow. So there's a bit of setup to get your DAW, in my case Logic, talking to your iPad. And I'm using a $10 app called Studio Mux. It's a host for instruments and effects on the iOS platform. So how it works is you drag a plugin, black hole in our case, into any of the eight available slots. Next, you want to open the plugin and load a patch. Now the cool thing is I can load multiple instances of any instrument or plugin. So next, open up your audio MIDI settings and then select show audio devices. Now connect your lightning cable to your iPad and then to any available USB port on your computer. And once you do that, you'll see this iPad icon pop up. Now you want to click on the enable button. Now your screen should look like this if your computer is seeing your iPad as an audio device. Next, you want to make sure that the Studio Mux server app is running in the background and is communicating with your iPad. Next, launch your DAW, open or create a new session. Create a new auxiliary bus, then insert the Studio Mux effects plugin on that new auxiliary track. In the Studio Mux plugin, select the slot that you want to use for that auxiliary. Adjust to taste. And that's basically how it's done. And now your iPad has officially become a very cost-effective 
but expensive sounding effects rack. Now I've been focusing mainly on the black hole reverb, but remember this will work with any iOS effects plugin. And as you can see, it works with the iPhone as well. Now, as much as I love using my Eventide Eclipse, I have to reluctantly admit that I'm enjoying using the plugin version a bit more. There's a sense of immediacy and there's a level of tweakability that's just not present in the hardware version. And there's such a wide and diverse range of artists created and endorsed presets that I'm discovering a whole new range of sounds that I never knew the black hole algorithm was even capable of. So you've been listening to the sounds of the black hole reverb. Todd M here. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you found any of this information useful, I definitely would appreciate a thumbs up. Any comments, compliments, criticisms, please feel free to use the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you don't know, now you know.